Hi Peaches! Today we're going to be making a swirly star hanging for your room. So get your piece of your plate that's already watercolored. I know not all of us have watercolors at home. Yours might look different, but I stained them ahead of time. You need these supplies. I have some fo foam stars and some felt stars. A string. I tried to choose one with pretty sparkles on it. You're going to need a pair of scissors. And you will need a grown-up's help because we need to use a stapler as well. If you want, I don't have one of these, you can get a hole puncher. I realized I did not borrow the one from school. So what I'm going to do, let's start out with grabbing your scissors. Thumb goes in the small hole. Your other fingers, or as many as you can fit, go in the bigger hole. Okay, and you're going to hold your foam. Cutting foam is very similar to cutting paper. I actually think it's really fun. It's a little thicker, but it feels nice to hold. So same thing. You're going to line up the edge with the line. Ooh, do you feel? It's really quiet cutting. Foam. Oh. Just let that fall. Okay, if you see the edges, there's one. Oops. I'm gonna throw these in my little garbage bag. Maybe you have different color stars, maybe you have different sizes as me, but that's okay. Give everyone a different variety. You get what you get, right? And we don't get upset. What kind of rules do you have at home? That's one of our school rules. You get what you get and you don't get upset. So just keep cutting. Do you ever get quiet when you cut? I realize I don't talk that much when I'm cutting. I like to concentrate on cutting straight lines. I don't keep chomp, 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 chomping, right? Okay. Put these in the little garbage bag. Now you have some foam stars and some felt stars that teacher already cut out for you because felt is quite difficult to cut. Now, a little more cutting. You're going to put your scissors down really quickly. Follow this line. We've done some activities like this, like our snake activity, our Christmas tree or winter tree activity. So get your scissors. You can watch me do it first. I only brought one plate with me like this but you can watch me first. You can see what to expect. I'm not going to cut anywhere except this marker line drawn on for me. Start at the tip. You see that? Cut. It's going to get a little curly. So we're not cutting a circle, we're cutting Whirly line. Yours might look a little different. Oh, look what's happening. Look at the cool shape. Okay, we're nearing the end. 
do not cut past the line. So, stop. Yeah, wow. This is so cute. Okay, you can put your scissors away in a safe spot. I put mine on this table. So, we have a cool hanging. Um, you're going to need a grown-up's help at the end to put a string on. But let's get, ooh, did I tell you that we need glue? We need glue for this activity. I'm going to get, um, I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna get some of my felt stars. If you have any leftover stars from activities we did with our solar system, what can you see? You can get those as well. This is gonna be super cool. And when you pick it up, you can see different stars. I don't have a hole puncher with me, so I'm just going to glue these on. It's still gonna look super cool. And it would look even cooler because you cut all, almost all these pieces by yourself. Parents, if you're wondering why there's a hole, it's so you could cut, sorry, you could punch holes in and it can dangle off. Similar to the tree we made in December over the holidays. No worries, we don't need it to hang off. Because the star's really big and it's taller than the plate. You could even glue onto the plate. Maybe you can pick this up to see. Where do I want my next star? I think I want to put one here. There's nothing there. Put some glue. Star can fit. Oh, careful. Okay, maybe I could do it like that. Yeah. Now, what you can do with your string, what you can do is have the two ends meet and pull it. You can tie this loop end. So there's like a handle. And you can choose however long here. I know it's hard to see, I'm using carpet. I don't have a table big enough, so I'm going to cut there. Sorry, I mean tie. I'm actually going to pick up my scissors one more time and cut some excess string. Now, this is for the grown-ups, okay? We're going to get your plate and cut, staple both parts of this little nub. I do not have a great stapler. I think I've had this stapler since college. <laughs> Try to line it up. Careful with your fingers. Barely got it. <laughs> Maybe do it one more time. See, these do not use this kind of stapler, parents. Have a regular office stapler. But you needed this in college, you know? You have to turn in a research paper. All right. Now, you can flatten it and pick it up. Wow, let's actually get some extra stars. I have some extra stars. I have some extra stars from some of our other activities. I gave you a lot, so if you don't have extra, that's fine. You can cut out your own stars or circles. I wanna glue them on here too, because I think stars are super fun and super cute.
thought these colors might go well together. You come at the top. And like with all our activities that I'm sending home, please give them enough time to dry. We want to have patience. We don't want our activities to fall apart. You want to make sure they have enough time to dry. Let's see how that looks so far. Yeah, and spread out the pieces. You can hang this in your room. Maybe you could play with this really gently, but this isn't meant to be a toy. This is meant to be a decoration. Let's see, I might have some more of those circles from the envelopes from other activities. Yeah. Tune in to our Zoom meetings. We're going to be talking about stars, the solar system, the sun is the star that's closest to our planet Earth. Where should I put this last one? Right here. Cool. I hope you are enjoying all these paper plate activities. <laughs> I am. So I'm going to let this dry and I can hang it in my house. Cool. Kind of looks like a snail shell, huh? Thanks for watching. Make sure you clean up after yourself. Make sure you put tools like the stapler and scissors away very safely and carefully. Thank you, peaches. Goodbye.